This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi everyone and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. This is the fall edition of 2019 and we're, your, we're so happy that you can join us. I know a lot of you play along at home and we have 16 high schools represented in this season and you're going to see four of them tonight. You're going to see Elida take on Defiance and a little bit later Van Wert will face off against Salina. We're going to introduce you to our players right now joining you from Elida. We have have Ethan Bowersock, Molly Wright, Cody Crates, and John Free. Elida is coached by Shelby Klutz. Welcome to all of you to start off our season. All right, turning now to Defiance, Connor Black, Xavier Payne, Anna Monte, and Lydia Fernandez. Defiance is coached by James Kerr. Welcome to all of you as well. All right, teams, our first round, 10 questions. There were 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready and ring those in. And when you ring in with your answers, please speak up as loudly as you can. Speak as clearly as possible, and we will have a good time. All right, here we go. Question number one. Give the full name of the organization known as the NC, yes, that would be Defiance. National Collegiate Athletic Association. Could you repeat the answer? National Collegiate Athletic Association. There you go, the National Collegiate Athletic Association. Very good, all right. Question two, which U.S. government body begins its annual term in October? Yes, ELIDA. The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the answer there. All right, number three. Baghdad is the capital. Yes, that would be defiance. Iraq. Iraq is correct. Baghdad is the capital of which Middle Eastern country? All right, number four. Which Japanese word was used? Yes, Elida. Kamikaze. Kamikaze is the answer there. All right, you're buzzing in fast with this game. Here we go, question number five. Deficiency of which vitamin causes, yes, that would be Elida. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is the answer. Name the American poet who died in Baltimore. Yes, that would be Defiance. Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe is the answer. Question number seven in this first round. All right, we have got an answer buzzed in by Elida. And your answer? Mea culpa. Mea culpa is correct. All right, moving on to number eight. What is the name of Batman's secret identity? Yes, Elida. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is the answer there. Two questions remaining in this first round. Which city in California was the ending point of the Pony Express line? Yes, that would be Elida. Sacramento. Sacramento is correct. And your final question in round one of this very first game of the fall season. In which large body of water is the Marshall? Yes, Elida. The Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is the correct answer. All right, here is our score after round one of questions. Elida, you have 70 points, Defiance 30. We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back with rounds two and three after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal.
All right, we are heading into round two of this first game of our fall season. And right now we have Elida and Defiance taking on each other. And Elida leading with 70 points, Defiance with 30. That means, Elida, you're going to be leading this round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but we still ask that you buzz in, okay? And um, everybody set? Okay, question number one. In which city is the Picasso Museum located? Uh, isn't it Madrid? That's what I said. Yes. Madrid? Madrid is incorrect. The answer is Paris, France. Mm. All right, question two. If a square yard of fabric costs 90 cents, how much will a square foot cost? Yes. 10 cents. 10 cents is the correct answer. Question three, according to the proverb, what is it that makes the world go round? Yes, Elida. Money. Money is incorrect. The answer is love. All right, two questions remaining in the second round for you. St. Patrick's Day on March 17th commemorates the patron saint of which country? Yes, Elida. Ireland. Ireland is the answer there. And your final question in round two. Which president was assassinated by a disappointed office seeker in 1881? Yes, Elida. Garfield. Could ja you? James A. Garfield. James Garfield is the correct answer there. All right. We have a score now. Elida with 85 points, Defiance with 30. Defiance, these are your questions. Five points apiece, all yours. Please buzz in. What is Australia's capital? Yes. Canberra. Canberra is the answer. Which word means a person who loves and supports his or her? Yes, that would be defiance. Patriot. Patriot is the answer. What word designates the boneless arm-like structures extending from the head of the octopus? Yes, defiance. Tentacles. Tentacles is correct. All right, two questions remaining here in the second round. Identify the Girl Scout motto. All right, time is up, defiance. The answer is be prepared. And your final question in round two. Name the first American president to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1905. Yes. Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first two rounds. Here's the score. Defiance, you have 50 points. Elida, 85. We're moving into the final round. Again, these are 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready and please speak up as loudly as possible. All right. Identify the country on which Monaco borders. Yes, defiance. France. France is correct. Which amendment protects the right to keep? Yes, Elida. Second. Second amendment is the answer there. All right, number three. Which two-word term is used to designate warfare that uses microorganisms? Yes, Elida. Biological warfare. Biological warfare is the answer. Question four. Name the journalist whose will in 1912 established annual awards for U.S. achievements in journalism. Yes, Elida. Pulitzer. You said Pulitzer? Yes. That is correct. All Sorry. right, question five. What term beginning with the letter N designates a substance or ingredient that promotes growth Provides energy. Yes, Elida. A nutrient. Nutrient is the answer. All right, question six in this final round. Give the nationality that precedes all of the following words. Beetle, lantern. Yes, defiance. Japanese. Japanese is the answer. What name is given to the battle at which General George, yes, defiance. Little Bighorn. Little Bighorn is the answer. 
Name the major European river that rises in Switzerland and empties into the North Sea. Yes, Elida. The Danube. The Danube is incorrect. Defiance, you've got a chance to answer this one. Yes. The Rhine. The Rhine River is the answer. All right, we have two questions remaining now. Which phrase beginning with the word iron designates the German medal awarded for outstanding bravery in wartime? Yes, Elida. Cross, the Iron Cross. The Iron Cross is the answer. And here's your final question. Name the American actress who became Duchess of Sussex when she married, yes, that would be Defiance. Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle is the correct answer. All right, we come to the end of our first game of this fall season. And here's the final score. We have Defiance with 100 points, Elida, the winner, with 135. So congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. Defiance, we want to thank you once again for joining us this season. And coming back, you're going to see Van Wert take on Salina. So you're going to want to stay right there. We'll be right back. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. It's the premiere show of our fall season of 2019. We're so happy that you could join us. All right, we just wrapped up a game between Elida and Defiance. Elida came out the winner there. You're going to see now Salina take on Van Wert and the winner in this contest will play Elida later on. All right, we wanna introduce you, of course, to our players joining us from Van Wert. We have Kayla Jennings, Kaylee Jennings. All right, Natalie Schreiber, Cadence Bowen, and William Ogden. And Van Wert is coached by Anita Zuber. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Salina. Playing for Salina is Avery Metzgar, Gage Seals, George Gramza, and Mason Muther. And Salina is coached by Hal Hoover. Welcome to all of you. All right, we have two rounds of questions before we take a break in this game. Our first round, 10 questions, were 10 points apiece. Some of you are new, so I wanna remind you and just make sure we know, get those buzzers ready. Please speak up as loudly as you can and be as clear as you can and complete with those answers, okay? We have a lot of people playing with you at home and they wanna hear what you have to say. So question number one in this game. In which country is Lake Baikal the world's deepest lake? Yes, that would be Van Wert. Russia. Russia is the answer. Which writer is known for his book depicting a futuristic society controlled? Yes, that would be Salina. George Orwell. George Orwell is the answer there. Question number three. What famous chapel of the Vatican had its ceiling painted? Yes, that would be Salina. The Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel is the correct answer. Question number four. Name the study that involves tracing one's ancestors. Yes, that would be Van Wert. Um, uh, Familyology. <laughs> All right, that is incorrect. So Salina, I'm going to complete the question for you and you have a chance here. Name the study that involves tracing one's ancestors for the purpose of establishing a family tree. Genealogy. Yes. Genealogy is the answer there. All right, question number five. Name the brothers who accomplished the first powered flight. Yes, Van Wert. The Wright brothers. The Wright brothers is correct. Identify the foods in the nursery rhyme. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her what? Curds and rye. That is 
incorrect. So, Salina, you've got a chance to answer that one. You had one of the answers correct. It's curds and whey. All right, number seven. Who is Europe's longest serving monarch, having been, yes, that would be Van Wert. Queen Elizabeth II. Elizabeth II is the answer. All right, number eight. Which book features the Oompa Loompas as, yes, Salina? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That is the correct answer, Charlie <laughs> and the Chocolate Factory. Which famous cathedral caught fire on April? Yes, that would be Van Wert. Notre Dame Cathedral. Notre Dame is right on April 15th of 2019. And your final question in round one. Which U.S. state traces its roots to the 1867 transfer of ownership from Russia to the United States. Salina. Alaska. Alaska is the answer. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of our first round here in this game between Van Wert and Salina. It's a close one. Van Wert, you have 40 points. Salina, you have 50. That means you're going to re be leading this next round of questions. You have five questions. They're all worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answer anyway, okay? On which language are languages such as Spanish, French, and Italian based? Yes. Latin. Latin is correct. What P word is another name for a gap through a mountain range? We can accept your answer. Plethora. That is incorrect. The answer is pass. All right. Question number three. Give a six letter word for fishing equipment. Yes. Tackle. Tackle is the answer. All right, you have two questions remaining in the second round. Name the Mexican American who began the United Farm Workers. We'll accept your answer. Uh, Gabriel Garcia. That is incorrect. The answer is Cesar Chavez. All right, final question here. Name the group term that refers to the 95% of animal species that lack a backbone. Yes. Invertebrates. Invertebrates is the answer. All right, turning now to Van Wert. Here's our score right now. Van Wert, you still 40 points. Salina moved up with 65. All right, you guys ready with your five questions? From what plant does opium come from? Yes. A poppy. Poppy is the answer. Name the Olympic event in which athletes zigzag down a course marked by poles set in the snow. Yes. Skiing. Skiing is incorrect. The answer we're looking for is slalom. All right. What word beginning with T means hard pavement and designates an airport runway? Yes. Track. That is incorrect. Tarmac is the answer there. Okay, you have two questions remaining in the second round. What part of a mile is a furlong? We'll take your answer. 10 feet. That is incorrect, it's 1 eighth. Okay, last question, second round. How much would a 100 pound person weigh on Jupiter? Yes. Zero pounds. Zero pounds is incorrect. The answer is 253. All right, we've come to the end of our first two rounds between Van Wert and Salina. Here's the score. Salina with 65 points, Van Wert with 45. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with the final round right after this.
Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. We are moving into our final round of competition between Salina and Van Wert. And the score right now stands at Van Wert with 45 points, Salina with 65. So really only two questions separate these two teams. And our third and final round, again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Is everybody ready? All right, question number one. Who wrote the Hunger Games series? Yes, that'd be Van Wert. Suzanne Collins. Suzanne Collins is correct. Question number two. Name the group of diseases characterized by uncontrolled growth and spread of, yes, that would be Salina. Uh, plague. Plague is incorrect. Van Wert? Cancer. Cancer is the answer there. Number three. Identify the inventor of the incandescent electric lamp. Yes, Salina. Uh, Edison. Thomas Edison. There you go. Thomas Edison is the answer. Question number four. Who in 1793 invented a machine for separating cotton fiber from the seed? Yes, Van Wert. Um, Eli Whitney. Eli Whitney is correct. What is the term for two places that are exactly opposite each other on the globe? Yes, Salina. Sister cities. That is incorrect, but Van Wert, you've got a chance. Uh, poles or polar. That is also incorrect. The answer is antipods. All right, number six. Name the chamber in which John Glenn was spun at three times the force of gravity to prepare for his space shuttle launch in 1998. All right, time's up teams. The answer is centrifuge. All right, we have four questions remaining in your game and it is tied right now. Name the doll company that believes in creating girls of strong character. Yes, Van Wert. American Girl. American Girl is the answer. This word is the use of any combination of materials, coloration or illumination for concealment. Salina. Camouflage. Camouflage is the answer. Okay, we have two questions remaining in this round. Who is the only U.S. president to have served four terms? Yes, Van Wert. FDR, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, we'll take that, very good, all right. And our final question of this game. Which New England city is the most populated? Yes, Van Wert. Boston, Massachusetts. Boston is the answer. All right, everybody take a breath. We've come to the end of a tough matchup here between Van Wert and Salina. And here is our score. Salina, 85 points. Van Wert, you're the winners with 105. Congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. Salina, as always, we're glad that you joined us this season. All right, we wanna thank you at home for watching. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.